Hello everyone, in this segment we will see type conversions and rounding. We know that in Python uh, we can write an expression using the combination of different numeric data types. For example, we can write an expression combining an integer and uh, an integer with an integer which will produce integer data type or we can also combine a float with a float that will produce a float. Now what happens if we mix an integer data type and a float in an expression, alright. So for example here what will be the result, okay. So let's see, um, let's see if we write something 5 uh, multiplication 2 integer times integer integer multiplication integer will, will produce integer but any uh, operation any operation with float is going to produce a float okay so that means so that means this value will be a float value 10.0 so any operation like multiply multiplication uh, plus or minus that involves a float okay with int int so if uh, operation with two float is going to create a float okay but if we mix an integer and float in that case actually multiplication plus minus both is going to all of them is going to create float okay and also division all right so integer uh, plus minus multiplication with integer is going to produce a integer data type but integer division integer is going to create a float all right now for python uh, for, to evaluate this expression it is going to convert uh, 5.0 to 5 and do the integer multiplication or convert 2 to 2.0 and do the floating point multiplication okay now uh, it is going to be converted to float but what happens if we convert a float to an integer okay now if the data is 10.0 I mean if we convert a float to an integer what happens okay so this is going to actually lose the decimal part this is going to lose the information in the fraction part so in the mixed type expression python uh, is going to convert ints to float so any type of mixed type expression uh, python is going to convert ints to float all right so as we said that in a mixed type conversion if any of the operand is a float the result will be float okay now sometimes we want to control the type conversion all right that means here uh, by default uh, float any operation with integer is going to convert them to a float but if we want to con uh, control the type conversion let's say I want the result in an integer type okay what if I want the result in an integer type okay so I may want some explicit typing okay I may want to control the uh, type of the result all right so in that case actually I can do that I can use some type conversion or uh, this is also known as type casting okay type conversion and also known as type casting all right so what happens if I convert a float to an integer okay for example I have a number 10.5 okay but I want the result in an integer means just the real uh, means just the whole number okay so in that case what happens if I convert a number to integer I can do that I can use a function integer like that so it is going to just ignore the fraction part and it will be converted to number integer 10 okay so it will keep the whole part whole number part it is going to ignore the fraction part and it will convert a float value to an integer value okay so the value will be uh, simply truncated not rounded 
okay the value will be simply truncated it will just truncate the fractional part all right so uh, some example for example if 4.5 if i do the integer conversion it will be 4 3.9 i do the integer conversion it will be 3 okay now we know this is an integer division right 2, uh, 22 5 so this is an integer division it will be 4 okay so the result will be 4 so i can i i may in that case want to do the explicit type conversion means i want the result in float okay so in that case it will be converted to a float so that means it is converted to a float 4 so, okay so this is same as And the result will be 4.0 all right but if we just write 22.5 uh, 22 divided by 5 the result would be actually 4.5 uh, so it's it's actually it will be actually 4.4 sorry okay so 22 by 5 it will be 4.4 okay so the this division result it is going to give you the result in float but here we are first doing the integer conversion so it will give the result 4 and float e, uh, 4 and 4 is converted to float it will be 4.0 okay now as we say that if we do the con type conversion from float to int integer it's actually just truncate the value that means it just ignore the fraction part now we may sometime want to do the round of the number okay round of the number for example like 3.9 if the number is 3.9 i just want to make it uh, the rounded version to 4 okay so in that case um there is a built-in function round function okay so that is going to round to the nearest whole whole value so round function is going to round to the nearest whole value okay so <clears throat> one round function just take the number means one parameter just one value inside the parenthesis okay so round 3.9 will be 4 round 3 will be 3 now the same round function i may want to round to a float value if i want to round to a float uh, a float value into another float value in that case i have to supply a second parameter okay that specifies the number of digit after the decimal point for example <coughs> i have a number 3.1415 the pi value okay so what i want i want to round the pi value to until uh, to a float number but in that case i have to actually tell that the number of digits after the decimal point that i want to do the rounding okay for example i want to do the rounding until this so it is going to i'm going to give the parameter as two okay so after the decimal point i want it to do the rounding uh, after the decimal point uh, two value i want it to be rounded to okay so if i use round 3.1415 nine two six three so that will be rounded to until this okay <clears throat> all right so let's see example um say three point nine it will be four so if we do round 3.4 it will be 3 now what about 3.5 it will be 4 okay so <coughs> if i give the point 3.1415 um two nine six three okay so 3.141 until this point and after that we have a 5 so let's see it, it will be 
थ्री पॉइंट वन फोर टू बिकॉज द नेक्स्ट पॉइंट इज फाइव अ नेक्स्ट वैल्यू इज फाइव ओके सो दैट्स वाई द वन दिस वैल्यू वन विल बी राउंड टू टू ऑल राइट सो अनदर टाइप कन्वर्शन यू कैन सी दैट इंटीजर इन साइड द इंटीजर वी आर टेकिंग द वैल्यू इट्स ए स्ट्रिंग वैल्यू ओके इट्स ए स्ट्रिंग वैल्यू बट दिस स्ट्रिंग वैल्यू हैज एक्चुअली ए न्यूमारिकल वैल्यू ओके सो दैट्स ए स्ट्रिंग बट इन साइड द स्ट्रिंग दैट्स ए न्यूमारिकल वैल्यू सो इट कैन एक्चुअली कन्वर्ट दिस वैल्यू टू ए इंटीजर वैल्यू ओके सो दिस स्ट्रिंग थार्टी टू विल बी कन्वर्टेड टू इंटीजर थार्टी टू ओके सो एट द सेम टाइम इट कैन बी कन्वर्टेड टू फ्लोट थार्टी टू पॉइंट जीरो बट द प्रॉब्लम इज दैट इन साइड द स्ट्रिंग इफ दैट्स जस्ट एनी अदर लेटर और एनी थिंग दैट डजेंट हैव एनी न्यूमारिकल वैल्यू इट उल नट बी एबल टू कन्वर्ट इट टू एन इंटीजर वैल्यू फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ वी राइट समथिंग लाइक दैट सो एज यू रोट सो दिस कन्वर्शन इज पसिबल बिकज द इट्स हंड्रेड इज अ स्ट्रिंग ओके इन साइड द डबल कोट ओके बट दैट हेज अ न्यूमारिकल वैल्यू but if we write anything inside the double quote okay for example hello it will now produce an error because the hello it doesn't have any numerical value so it will not be possible to convert to int okay so same for float conversion from a string value string means a string that is in that we are writing inside a double quote so this function is going to be useful sometime um instead of we may want to use it instead of eval function okay say for example let's see one uh, code uh, let, for example here in this program we are going to calculate the value of some changes in dollars okay so as an input when we take a input from the user all right that input is always considered as a string okay so for example i'm taking uh four but that input is always converted to a that input is always considered as a string but uh, that's why we always use the eval function okay so eval function eval function will be evaluated to the input string to a number okay now if i know that the input is a the input is all going to be a number in that case i may explicitly use the int function okay so that's an another alternative of eval function but i have to make sure that the uh, input i'm taking that has to be always a number okay other than that uh, they are going to other than that your program is going to generate an error so that's an another alternative of eval function we can just use int function and uh, int function is going to convert the input okay to a integer number so in this program we are going to what we are going to do we are going to actually take some changes and we are going to convert that to a dollar for example like i have a uh, four uh, quarter i have uh, some dime i have some nickel and i have some pennies then i want to actually convert it to a dollar all right so let's write the code okay so for quarter i'm going to uh, let's see how many quarter i have uh, i'm going to take them Uh, the number of quarter the number of uh, penny dime and everything i'm going to take them as input okay so i'm going to call input function okay now <coughs> the input so uh, in all our example we saw that we used eval function so here we can do we can use the int function so the input the user will give it is going to be converted to a integer number okay 
then let's see uh, take the values for dime sure quarters dimes nickels and pennies so same here So I'm going to just do the copy paste but uh, this will be for nickels and it will be for pennies. And how I'm going to calculate the dollar let's see dollar equals to so it is going to be quart times uh, 0.25 okay plus <coughs> so I'm going to uh, multiply 0.1 with dime 0 0.05 with nickels and uh, 0 0.01 with pennies. <coughs> sorry it is going to be plus okay so point uh, zero five plus okay now I'm going to print that Alright, so let's run that. So let's say I have um, 29 quarter, so 34 dime, 4 nickels, and uh, 200. Okay, so total not defined. So, okay, so here I'm getting some error that uh, total total is not defined okay actually i made a mistake i can see that um, the name of my <coughs> variable here is dollar okay the name of my variable here is dollar so it should be actually dollar okay so i was trying to print the value of total but total has not been defined anywhere here okay the name of variable i defined here is dollar okay All right so let's see I have uh, 26 29 um, the number of 34 4 200 okay so total dollar amount he here is $12.85 uh, <coughs> 